But Masterpiece Society is a um, curriculum that I found when I went on a hunt last year for a, a you know, really good resource that would help me as a homeschool mom. And so we've been using it for quite a while now and really enjoying it. It's exactly what I was looking for. We've been really excited about it. And so right now they have opened up their membership, they only do it twice a year, so it's happening right now for five days, so it's now through um, August 16th, and then they do it one more time in January, they open um, the January time frame. they open it one more time, but the prices are gonna be going up in January. So I wanted to take advantage of your window to be able to tell you guys about this, give you a peek inside. Now you can get the membership, or any time of year you can actually buy pieces of it a la carte. You don't have to get the membership. That's just what we got because it fit our needs the best. It was the most cost effective for what we were looking for. So anyway, Alicia Greathouse has, is the author and the artist at Masterpiece Society, and she has graciously agreed to give you guys a free giveaway. So if you, I have a freebie for you, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. It's a free art course or a free art lesson where you can do a bluebird with your kids. And that's what got us started with Masterpiece Society because we tried that with our kids and we just really loved it with that. And I'm going to show you a screen share here in a minute. I have some links for you on this post. So be sure well, I'm going to show you what you're going to see when you go to those links, because like I said, you can buy courses individually through Masterpiece Society or you can buy the membership. And I'm going to show you everything that's in there. OK. All right. So let me share my screen with you and show you guys what is in Masterpiece Society. OK. Okay, so when you click on those links I gave you, you will see this page. This is the Masterpiece Society main page. And if you look around the top, it'll give you a little bit of information about what we're going to be looking at. So just to tell you about the freebie right off the bat, if you see at the top free lesson, if you click on that, and I also left you, um, I'll leave you a link in the comments. Um, but if you click on that, it will take you to this um, page where you can download a tutorial about how to um, do a bluebird with family. And that's a lot of fun. This is the one you just sign and it walks you through. She used a magazine here and she drew and painted in a bluebird. It was a lot of fun. So that's how you get your free lesson. Okay, so when you take a look at this, page, there are some things I wanna show you. First of all, you can access Masterpiece Society through any um, device you have. So we use it a lot on my laptop. I'll show, turn it around and show it to the kids and we'll all do a lesson together at the table. But you can also use your iPhone or your iPad or your you know, laptop or your computer, whatever you need. So there's four main pieces that are involved in Masterpiece Society that you can take advantage of. Okay, so the I'm gonna show you is on this left, mixed media workshops. This is what uh, my younger kids use the most. And I'll show you some details about what these courses look like. But these are available for ages eight and up. They include, you know, seasonal projects and all fun stuff. So I'll show you what's involved with those. So you can buy those individually and they range from $37 to $97. Over on the right, over here, this is art school courses. So these are for age 13 and up. And so they're more for junior high and high school. And those are $129 each. And let me, t let me show you what's in that. So you have four main classes, Drawing 101, Watercolors 101, Acrylics and Oils 101, and Pastels 101. So these, you have, you have lifetime access when you buy these, um, these courses a la carte. These are the, the one for the younger kids. And it gives you a little bit of an idea of what they will learn. And you can scroll down, and if you click these, It'll show you um, what, is, what they're going to be doing and some of the examples of what they'll be doing. So my younger kids, I shouldn't say my younger kids, they're my older kids, but this is supposed to be for ages 13 and up. My 10-year-old or my 10 and 11-year-old and I have been going through this drawing one together. So they are able to do it. It just kind of depends on, you know, the ability and maturity level of your kids. Really, um, the thing that makes the difference with these art school classes 
is that there's no assist, you know, there's no templates to download, or there's no starting point, you're basically starting from creativity and the instruction that she gives you in the videos. Okay. So those are two pieces. So there's, there's the mixed media workshops for the younger kids, the art school co courses for the older kids. And in the middle of here, it has the studio membership. So this is the one we have. So instead of buying these pieces all cart, we have studio membership and that includes the art school courses that I have some exclusive content which I'll show you in a little bit so these are things where you can um, get either yearly or monthly access and like I said studio membership isn't always open right now it's open for five, five days um, enrollment ends on August 16th so you need to enroll now and it only opens again one more time and that's it doesn't open again at all for the rest of this year but next year in January it'll open up again but the prices will have gone up so you this I do um, ship because I have a variety of ages. You know, I have preschool all the way up through junior high. So I have a variety of ages and I want to cover a lot of things. And I'll show you guys inside what that looks like. But there's one more piece I want to mention. If you scroll down here just a little bit more, there's one more piece that Masterpiece Society offers that's not included in, not really a course necessarily, like the video courses that she offers, and it's not in the membership. And so if you want just um, art appreciation, she has these pieces here. So these are Masterpiece Society art appreciation. These are downloads that you have in there, big downloads. And so here you can see she bundles them up into two bundles or you can buy them individually. And so you download these and these are more involved um, art lessons and art appreciation lessons. Okay, so those are, there is some art appreciation involved in the membership and in some of the courses, and I'll show you those. But if you just wanted to really dig into a meaty um, art appreciation study, then these are the ones you would want to look at. All right, okay, so let me show you what is in the studio membership. When I log in to my Masterpiece Society, this is what I see. You'll get a video, a welcome video from Alicia. You'll have these pieces up there here. Some of them are new. First of all, you know, you can get membership support. So if you need to contact her, if you have some, you can look at the FAQ and things like that over here in membership support. There's an exclusive Facebook group where you can, um, sometimes she does videos in there just for the members um, where she does special art lessons. Um, people go in there and share their uh, students' work. Um, it's just a fun little group that you can get involved in and you can ask questions. Homeschool archetypes is a new thing. This is more if you want to, have, you know, we tend to be willy nilly with how we do art. We, I like to be able to click on an open and go thing and just, you know, so I'm kind of winging it as far as it's interesting to me at the time or what hooks into our other lessons. But if you want a plan, then the homeschool archetypes will be the piece that um, provides that for you. The Masterpiece Society Studio Calendar also gives you a little bit of planning information. Here, this piece is new, so those two pieces are new. This piece is new right here, suggested um, lessons and links. And this is really helpful because, so for each month, so right now it's August, so here are the lessons and links she suggests for August, and it gives you for each grade range. So here's uh, grades K through second. She recommends under the sea, shark, sea, turtle, uh, shark and sea turtle. And so you can click on that and go right to that lesson, especially if you have a membership, then you'll be able to click on that and go through. So it goes ages eight and up, ages 10 and up, the teens and the masterpiece moms. So any of these pieces, you can, um, it gives you just kind of an idea. If you need some inspiration, but you don't want to follow a rigid plan, this is perfect. I'm going to love this. I know it because that'll be just right for us. Okay, so here is the early elementary resources. Um, that, you know, when I showed you on this, on the price, this right here, the mixed media workshop over here, there's a couple different pieces that are included in that if you wanted to just buy one-off courses. So these backyard nature, dinosaurs, space explorers, under the sea, and then if you scroll down, there's a few more pieces you could buy, you could buy um, individual. So these, my kids love these. These are for um, kindergarten through second grade, but even my older kids enjoy doing these. Um, and then you have the step-by-step -step drawing. So if you want to teach your kids ages um, K through second grade how to draw, then this course right here would be helpful for you. So let me show you inside one of the courses so you can see what it looks like. So this is a dinosaurs one. So you can kind of see from her picture here, she has six projects on here. And 
a lot of times the pictures that she has for the course doesn't necessarily show all of the projects that you'll do, but sometimes it does. So you just kind of have to go in and see what they have available for that course. So it'll explain to you what you're going to be doing. It'll have a basic supply list for um, any of the courses you want to do. And there's a master supply list as well. And here it shows the different uh, lessons that you can do for each course. So for example, okay, let me show you an example of it. So for example, if I'm going to do my uh, texturized Tyrannosaurus, and you click on that lesson, it shows you an example of what an end product might look like for it. It tells you the supplies needed here. It gives you some instructions here. Um, a lot of them include a template. This is a link, a Tyrannosaurus template that you download. And then you just click on this video and you can expand it to do full screen. And that, that's what I do most often with my kids. I kind of decide ahead of time what I'm going to do for that art lesson that day. I click play, I expand it, and the, we watch it together. And I can just pause it when we need to. Okay. And then you can mark it complete. I rarely actually mark it complete. But if you wanted to keep track of what you were, you know, what you've completed or not, you can. And you can click on next lesson. Most of these courses you can hop around whatever you want. Like this one, you can pick whichever lesson you want to do, whatever looks interesting to your kids. Uh, we do that a lot. But some of the some of the things like in the art school for older kids that I showed you, you do, you know, the skills build on each other. So you are forced to complete a lesson before you move on to the next one, which is kind of what you want, especially if your older kids are doing it independently. Okay, and then you have seasonal. So these are also things that you can buy a la carte. This, these seasonal ones here, summer, fall, um, springtime, winter. We started with winter last year and enjoyed it. Um, this holiday art lessons, this right here is exclusive to the membership. The step-by-step -step drawings for K through second is also exclusive to the membership. So those are not available for purchase separately. They're only available to members. Um, but here, you know, th this Valentine's Day one is separate and includes several lessons, but this holiday art lessons, this this is one where you can find a lot of projects for the holidays you want to do. So there's like a St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day. We did flags for Independence Day. But there's some fun things thrown in there like Winnie the Pooh Day, Talk Like a Pirate Day. And she's always adding to these lessons and courses. So there's always something new to explore. And then mixing with the masters. This is where you kind of start getting into the older kids, although these I still do all of the lessons that we do, except for these art school ones down here, all the lessons we do, I do with all my kids. So that's ages two through 11 right now. All We all do it together and we just do it at their level. Um, you know, we just adapt it to their level. So this is mixing with the master's volume one and volume two. And when I mentioned that there is some art appreciation and artist study involved in the, um, the regular courses, this is what I meant. This is what I was talking about. So in mixing with the master's volume one, this is, um, something that we've really enjoyed. So you go through these six artists for each volume, and I'm going to show you here. So Leonardo da Vinci, for example, you do a short bio, and it's a video where, uh, here I'll show you what, what it looks like. So here's Leonardo da Vinci. It has a quote by Leonardo da Vinci. It has a video that you can watch. And the video goes through, this is Alicia, she shows you these different pieces of art um, by Da Vinci, and she talks about the, the art pieces, and she talks about um, Da Vinci and his life and history and all of those kind of things, okay? So that, was, that would be the first thing. So you do a bio of Leonardo Da Vinci, and then there would be a supply list for you. And then here you can see there are three art projects that she guides you through. There's Mona Lisa, Woman's Head, and The Last Supper for Da Vinci. And at the end, there's a Da Vinci art challenge, which is basically, okay, taking what you've learned so far, do your own art challenge. And she gives you a couple ideas of what to do. So if you go into this one, for example, for Mona Lisa lesson one for Da Vinci, it explains what you're gonna do. It has a template that you're gonna download. And in this lesson, you are not you know, replicating it, you are doing something creative with it. So it talks about the, um, the piece of art, 
And in this lesson, she is walking you through how, to, I'm going to show you what the end product looks like in this case. She is walking you through how to do a mixed media project based on the Mona Lisa. So you're doing decoupage and painting and drawing, and you end up with this beautiful piece of art that you can give as a gift, you can hang up on the wall. And in this case, she has some extra pieces for study. Um, you can look at, uh, you know, find the Mona Lisa in the Louvre online and take a look at it. You can zoom in on it. You can look at an x-ray or ultraviolet by clicking this link. And she has her video here. So it's really educational and a lot of fun. Okay, so that's mixing with the masters. This piece over here, Vanishing Resources, this is for members only. And basically she will occasionally throw in some fun things in there. Sometimes there'll be brand new original little um, art lessons or studies, right? It has Mary artist study in there that you can download and they're available for a limited time. So, and so they're not only, you know, um, just for members, but they're available for a limited time. And she, of course, lets everybody know when they're available so you can go download those. Those are a fun little bonus, and I always go grab those. Here's the art school, which I already showed you. You get access to all the art school courses, which is a really good deal um, when you think about it because each of those are like $129 or something. And then here's some a few extra pieces. So here's an abstract art lesson um, that she has here. These coloring pages for preschoolers are only available for the membership. And these are helpful because as a large family mom, I have toddlers who are joining in on us with these lessons and they're not gonna be able to do like the decoupage stuff, for example. So I do those projects when the littles are sleeping or I give them these coloring pages. There's actually a Mona Lisa coloring page in that um, coloring pages for preschoolers area so he can do that. The Masterpiece Moms is also only for members. Um, if you go in here, this is something that I didn't honestly think I would use at first, but I ended up really enjoying it. It includes, these are things just for you as the mom to do, you know, I don't know about you, but I tend to be all work and no play <laughs> and no rest and relaxation. And my husband really challenged me this year to find an outlet for myself that wasn't work, you know, that was just for enjoyment. And so this really, was appealing to me because I could do that. So like I'm, uh, a friend of mine came over this last weekend and gave me a bouquet of zinnias and so I plan on doing this O'Keeffe inspired zinnia project that she has here. Isn't that beautiful? So I can't wait to get dig into those because she walks you step by step in these videos how to do it. So um, I just really enjoy that. I plan on hanging that up in the bathroom. <laughs> have a little bit of art in there that I made myself. And there's other kinds of projects. It's not just painting sheets, chalkboard art that I've been eyeing for this coming um, holiday season. So, you know, fun little things for just moms to do. That'd be a fun one to invite some homeschool moms over and have a mom's night at your house um, and do that together. Here's Playful Portraits. It's just another course where you can, you know, draw some animals. Um, this printable art resources is kind of interesting. It's just a little repository for some random things she has, like um, there's some um, printable cards for where you can use artist cards for a history timeline. Um, there's some schedules, suggested schedules you could use. Um, there's all sorts of little things in there. And then this is You Are a Masterpiece. It's a mixed media workshop and it goes through um, just some extra fun projects that she has. Like you can see she has a self-portrait in there and things like that. So that is what is involved in the Masterpiece Society membership. Again, like I said, a lot of these pieces, you if you just wanted to get a piece here and there, like you just wanted to get the dinosaurs or you just wanted to get the winter wonderland, you can buy those separately. I just know that for me, having the full access to everything really helps me especially as a large family mom plus I love to be able to pop in and do you know we're going to do a fall project coming up we're going to do pumpkins you know that's going to be a, an easy inspiration to do this coming fall but I also want to be able to do some artist study with my kids um, and really dig into some homeschool art study with them and so doing a mixing with the master's project would make a lot of sense and I want to be, my older kids have been asking to learn how to draw. And so having the art school available in there without having to pay extra for it was a huge draw. Um, so there was just a lot about the membership that really appealed to me. So I am very happy with the membership. 
don't forget that, you know, when it's open, it's only open a couple times a year. So right now it's August. It's open through August 16th, and then it opens up again in January. But be sure to hop on it if you're watching this between um, now and August 16th, 2019, because you can grab it now for a lower price because it will go up. Because she's adding to this every single month. She's adding courses and classes, and, you know, the private Facebook page has lots of extra content. Um, it's just a really good value, I think. So uh, let's see here. Let me flip back around. So if you're wondering, you know, it's not, it is an investment to put into an art course to buy a membership like this or even just to buy the courses. And I'll tell you what the value is for me personally. I really struggled before to get art incorporated into our homeschool lessons, to do art study, to do, you know, um, holiday art projects. I'm a busy mom of six. I homeschool. I work from home. I do all sorts of things. And so spending a lot of time digging through resources online and, you know, digging through Pinterest and pulling everything together, it just was time consuming. It was time I didn't have. And it was frustrating to me because I wanted to be doing other things. There were other things I wanted to, you know, accomplish in the day. And it was just easier for me to find a resource that did it all in one. So I, that is part of the reason why I really like the Masterpiece Studios or Masterpiece Society. I also really like Alicia and how engaging she is with the kids. Um, the kids really like her videos and just her um, personality and her humor. And so they ask to do these projects, which is a big deal. They ask to do them. Um, the only part that I have found challenging about it is I still, <laughs> it's very open and go where you can just click on something and go, but I still need to think ahead to some degree to have the art supplies on hand. So what I've done is at the beginning of the year when we first got this, um, or I suppose that it's more like at the end of last year, um, I spent some time going through the master list of the basic art supplies, you know, made sure I already had a lot because we've been homeschooling for a long time, but I made sure that I had all the basics on hand so that for most projects we could accomplish them with just one or two things or, you know, no extra things. And then once a quarter, when I do my quarterly planning, I just go through the um, membership and I pick a few things that I think will be good. It might be, you know, the, um, the holiday things or the mixing with the master studies or whatever it might be. I say, this, these are the things I think I want to do. I make sure that I have all the supplies I need for those. And that way, you know, I have most of the things that we need for doing these projects. And she does a really good job of letting you know, you know, when you're um, setting up for the lesson, if you don't have something, you can use this instead. So it's pretty flexible and I've been able to pull it off. So that's the only piece that I still suggest that you think ahead and you plan ahead when it comes to using um, this resources. Make sure that you start building up your stash of art supplies. We've been getting them for like Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. You know, we ask the grandparents for art supplies, things like that. Um, so there's that piece. If you are, you know, on a really tight budget and this just seems way out of your price range, there are a couple things I would suggest. One is I would definitely be watching her Facebook page because her Facebook page, a lot of times she will have little art projects that she'll do. She just did one recently where it was like a, you know, goodbye to summer and, and this is her public Facebook page and she does an art, you know, project right there with you guys on her Facebook page. So it's a fun little way to, you know, be able to participate in the material she offers. And then eventually you can invest in one of the courses or into the membership. So, um, and definitely if you're worried about cost and you are considering the membership, make sure you snag it now instead of waiting until January. Um, the more she adds to it and her prices are locked. So if you get the membership now, then the prices is locked. So it won't go up the next time your annual or, um, or monthly membership comes up. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions.